We need a way through. Let's look around for a route we can take. Hey guys, it's Sunal and Vaspan from IGN India. And today we're here to talk about just how damn weird and insane Near Automata gets. Yeah, just to start you off, we have a roller coaster. This roller coaster is one of my favorite parts in the game that I played so far. Just because of how insane it gets. I, I see that it's suddenly gone into 2D. What's happening over there? Yeah, normally it's a 3D hack, hack and slash RPG, but some parts it just makes it turns into a 2D side scrolling hack and slash. Whoa, it just suddenly speeds up. Yep. And okay, there's some bad guys here, but I'm not even looking at them. I'm looking at the background and it's looking absolutely stunning. Also, what I was doing while playing. Yeah, that it's couldn't just, have been that great. It's just, yeah, it wasn't, obviously, but it's still such a beautiful game and it's intense with enemies coming all over the place and weird fireballs being shot at from me. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know I don't know how you were able to keep up, but I'm not even looking at the players. I'm just looking at the background. Sadly, I didn't have that luxury, <laughs> but I had to make two. And the hack and slash looks absolutely crazy. Oh, yeah, the gameplay is tight as hell because Platinum Games are like masters of making hack and slash. Damn, these guys are all over the place. How are you even keeping up? Barely. I'm barely keeping up. Alright, that was a short roller coaster, right? I want my money back. Well, you, you can talk to our management right here. The boss fight right here. The Dovakin. Oh, look, it's the Dragonborn. And she is yelling. As Dragonborns are wont to do. But this boss fight is actually a fantastic fight, as you'll see. Alright. What the hell? Thanks for warning us. Don't say anything about a machine like this. An interesting thing about this fight is that it actually shows off how it's less of a hack and slash game that you'd expect from Platinum and more of an RPG. Because uh, everything has levels. I am level 9, the boss is level 15. But All right. they matter, they help. You can grind up to the boss's level and make this fight a complete cakewalk. But I chose not to because I make some unwise decisions with my life sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I can see right from the start that she has like multiple attack formats and that's really hard, hard to keep up with. Oh yeah, I mean, the, whoa, what the hell the is this? lasers were just like weird as hell. Hey, where do they appear from? Um, hey, you're taking a bunch of damage there, aren't you, Shunal? Oh yeah, yeah, get your revenge in. <laughs> hey, there's a crazy amount of bullets flying around, explosions, oh, yeah. missiles, laughing. Bullets, swords. So, swords also fire on, as you can see. <laughs> yeah. Okay, she's got swords as well, damn. Everyone has swords in this game, Vaspan. Everyone. No, oh, dude. She just keeps finding various ways to attack you. This is absolutely crazy. Yeah, and it looks amazing. It makes for a great fight. There's no way you can predict any of this. I, you can. She has a definite pattern to, uh, to it. Yeah, well, I'm completely lost right now. That's because, that's because that's because you didn't try this fight thrice. <laughs> a good point though. Oh, what's happening here? Oh, this is one of my favorite parts of the game. Damn, it's the camera is just changing on its own. It's going to a top view all of a sudden. Yeah, I'm not controlling the camera at all. And it's excellent because I would wish more games would do this. Makes the game look better. Makes it more Easy to fight. Yeah, it's really not filling up the screen brilliantly. Yeah, Neo Automata has a weird tendency to become a shoot em up out of nowhere. Damn. It's pretty weird, but it's awesome. Oh, she's going away. You made her feel bad. You're the one who wanted your money back. <laughs> Alright, she's back on stage. Are you done? You beat her? Well. Oh, what, what? What is going on? What is happening? That's actually the same thought process I had. Uh, what, what's going on here? She's trying to hack me. And as you can see, I <laughs> had to learn the hard way by shooting different things oh, to see nice. what explodes. So there are mini games mid fight. That's pretty yeah, cool. Right in the middle of the boss fight. Weird as hell. But awesome. Damage, it'll affect our yeah. as well. Alright, what, what are these guys up to? What are they doing here? Well, robots are trying to pretend to be humans. Ah, yes. One of them got a baby. This guy is rolling around. What the hell are those two on the right doing? Hey, hey, stop that! Stop that! Uh, sorry, sorry if there are any kids watching. There's, there's like two more on the. Oh, for God's sake, guys. A very rude game, isn't it? Get a room. They did. I actually barged into their room. That's pretty rude, Shunal. I can't help myself sometimes. Alright, what's happening? So, oh, why, why is he attacking you? So, yeah, this is where I'll talk about a story a bit. For this specific quest, 
I'm just hunting robots because they're kind of the bad guys for the start of the game at least. And they're just robots. They're not supposed to do anything. They're just robots meant to kill humans. Ah, oh, just as, robots meant to kill humans. But as it turns out, some robots seem to be showing off some kind of sentience and personality. And the whole central basis of the plot is how is this happening? Are they actually becoming sentient? Or are they just mimicking humans and playing record things they heard? Recordings yeah, essentially. That seems pretty deep. Yeah, it is a pretty heavy well, game. Well, I'm looking at the combat and it looks pretty stunning. I mean, there are these jumps you're doing and slashing them in midair and you're taking them on like uh, many to one. It looks pretty crazy. What's happening right here? Well, you know, platinum games tend to seem to have like gotten down the hack and slash action genre down to the pixel. They know how to do it perfectly. And this oh. game is a great example of that. You don't need to be particularly good at the genre for this game. Uh, right. they're, they're going absolutely crazy here. Uh, what's happening? They're confused. Well... This game's weird. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, yeah, they're all freaking out. Guys, calm down. Calm down. Okay, we won't kill you. Calm the hell down. They're climbing something. They're making some sort of structure. Maybe they're making a gigantic robot? If only was fun. If only that was the case. If only they were making a yeah, gigantic robot. Is that is there a gigantic uterus? Yes, it's a gigantic glowing uterus. Uh, are they gonna give birth to something? Don't... Oh, no, they're giving birth to something. Yes. They're giving birth. What the hell? Don't think. But anyway, that's all the time we have for the weirdness no. of Near Automata. Well, this game is absolutely is insane, guys. It's crazy in the best possible ways. For more things Near Automata, stay tuned to IGN India.